live with your host for tonight, Mr. Barth Gimble. Tonight, Barth's guest will be April McTeer with the amazing language of her body. Consumer advisor, Lou Moffat. Consumer, Susan Cloud. Barth's father, Garth Gimble Sr., an older yet somehow elderly man. Happy kind in the Mirth Makers. And me, I'm Jerry Hubbard. And now your host and mine, Mr. Barth Gimble. Thank you so much for all the terrific support and response. I really appreciate it. I gotta just tell you, everyone's been so nice to me since we've started this show, and well, <laughs> a little late again, aren't we, Jerry? But I jump on the moving train before it gets going too fast. Yeah, well, you hit the caboose. Okay? <laughs> Generally, everyone's been very good. Um, something kind of interesting happened just a moment ago. We were, uh, I was backstage in our dressing room, and uh, we'll call it that for now. <laughs> I, I shouldn't make fun of the dressing room, really. They went to a lot of trouble on my behalf. They know how much I love tar paper. <laughs> but well, the radio in there, too, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was back there, <laughs> knock at the door, young fella came in and said, hey, Barth, you got a minute? And I said, a minute? Make it an hour, because I'm that way. And uh, <laughs> so I said, you know, what's on your mind? I gave him the benefit of the doubt there. And, uh, and he said, well, you know, he had some questions. So I said, let's sit down. So the two of us sat down, and I had coffee. And we were talking a little bit. And he said, Barth, I'm kind of interested. How does a guy as young as yourself get to be as talented as you are. And I gave him an, an honest answer. I told him, that, you know, you, you get a head start from some people. And in my case, it was my dad that helped me out more than anybody else. It's, he, my dad is living proof that behind every man that makes it, there's an older man. And that would be his father. Yes, very well put. And a lot of times, of course, when a star does rise right up to the top, and they do that all the time, um, the first thing they do is buy their parents a beautiful big ranch home out in Arizona or something like that. But I... I I couldn't really do that because I said, hey, where's the man's dignity in a case like that? You know, you buy him a house, living in a house that he didn't pay for. So I did something else. I got him a job. Um, <laughs> I got him a job right here with the station, to be perfectly honest. And uh, he lives with me now. He's going to be living in, uh, we live in the uh, apartment that my departed brother had. Uh, well, he had it all paid up for the year, and as long as the uh, year is still paid for, I figure, why can't we live there together as good friends? <laughs> we'll stay till the lease runs out. It's kind of comforting, too, to know that you can wake up in the night and know that that dad that means so much of you is just as, as close as the couch down in the living room. It's kind of a nice feeling. <laughs> so I got him a job here at Channel 6. Um, he's with us tonight. So without further ado, please welcome my father, Mr. Garth Gimble Sr. Daddy. <laughs> That's a first-class uniform. Hi, Dad. <laughs> How do you like the business so far? Well, very good. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, <laughs> you know, I'll bet with security being as important as it is to a person your age, old, um, I should imagine it's kind of nice to be able to get your security right in the form of a uniform on a hanger, huh? <laughs> well, I'm happy to be here, living in your late brother's house. Yes. And uh, listen, this job's going to pay half my rent. <laughs> That's right. Uh, didn't you tell me earlier that the lease on your brother's house was paid up for a year? No. But you said that the real no. estate... No. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming on the show. It's good to see you three days in a row after not seeing you for so many, many years. Yeah. Incidentally, Dad, uh, it's really, uh, I was really kind of sorry to hear about Mom. She was a great gal. And... I'm sure she was, guys. But let's get on with the show, fellas, because I... In her will, did she... I happen anything? to know the first real guest. <laughs> Nothing? And she has a, a, a class in town where she teaches her students uh, to get into top physical shape, and then through the language of the body, they learn how to express feelings and emotions physically through the body rather than uh, verbally much Sounds like that again yeah. well let's find out how fascinating it is so let's get together and welcome the body language of april mcteer come on out april <laughs> Our, every movement she makes has a meaning now now this is sort of a uh well, she's kind of saying like, uh, hello, it's greeting, so talking, greeting the day. You notice she's not speaking except through her body. All right. 
Now, what would this one be here? Well, this kind is... of like she's, uh, she's stretching her, her feelings. She's, that's it. Now she's uh, expanding, extending herself. Uh, all right, she's feeling a little bit down now and a little bit confused, as you can see. Uh, she's sort of all wrapped up in herself. Yes, yeah, almost. You can... Now, that shows kind of a concern with what's happening in the world today. Um, <laughs> You know, the oil prices oh, and the uh, cargo, yeah. young crime situation and all. In a way with the rocking, like, balancing yeah, the bus. That's a little, uh, <laughs> thumbs have a meeting. Very, very good. Well, that's now she's April, come on over. Come on over and talk to us. I think she's uh, having a little problem. Now. We'll go over so, there. Yeah, why don't we jump over there? And, okay. Uh, uh, nice to see you. How are you? You're looking great. Just Thank looking you. fine. It's wonderful being on the program. I'm a little nervous. Well, well of course you are. My little... first time on television. Now, I understand you, uh, April. <laughs> I, I understand you teach a course here in uh, in this uh, exercise kind of thing. Yes, you never she get does. hurt yes. or hurt themselves or other people. Oh no, not at all, not at all. My students really enjoy my classes, and in fact, anybody can do it. Uh, really? Yes. really? I, do you think Mark could do it? Oh, yes. In fact, here, let me help you take off your chair. No, no, please, no. And... no. We'll be right back after this word. <laughs> Jackie, please. Our next guest is a man we hope to see a lot of here on Firmwood tonight. He's kind of a freelance troubleshooter on behalf of you consumers, investigating rip-offs around the state. And he's here tonight to share some of his findings with us. Will you please welcome with me, Mr. Lou Moffat. <laughs> Well, what have you got for us tonight, Lou? Well, one of the crusades I'm conducting all around the country is consumer protection against consumer fraud of household appliances. You know, it's appalling how many housewives are bamboozled while they're taken apart by so many faulty appliances that's going on today. You know, it's a marvelous public service allowing me to come here tonight and demonstrate to folks how not to get ripped off next time they're shopping. Okay, well, you have a demonstration for us? As a matter of fact, I do, Bart. Thank you very much. Go to town here. You see this item right here? Looks, looks expensive, doesn't it? it? certainly does. Well, this number retails for $39.95. They advertise that a puree's julienne slices and dices does none of those things. And as a matter of fact, it has faulty wiring. You plug this thing in, it could explode any minute. Definitely shoddy material, not, ac not acceptable. Ripple. Absolutely. Ripple. See this number right here? That's Re better. Right. $49.95, this one retails for. Again, they have a one-year guarantee on this number. But I know the folks back there that make this, those, uh, those people, they couldn't, they couldn't fix breakfast. <laughs> Let alone repair one of these, I Again, mean. shoddy material, not acceptable. <laughs> you know, as I travel across the length and breadth of this great country, thank you very much, I'd like to do, uh, I'd like to do a little public relations, if I might, if you don't mind, for the fruit with perhaps the worst image in the entire garden of health, of course, the lemon. We laugh at it, don't we? Don't you laugh at the lemon? Sure. If you get a bad car, you say, gee, it's a lemon. Don't you say that? Sure. <laughs> your wife is acting up, your husband says that he's tired every night, you say, well, I really got a lemon there instead of a peach. Don't you say that? <laughs> well, you notice that I'm peeling the lemon right here. And what's inside the lemon, of course? A little souvenir of tonight. What's inside the lemon, of course? It's all right are your bioflavonoids. The citron increasing the glycogen storage all up and down your capillary tract. And that's important too, isn't it, Mother? You bet. <laughs> but what do you do with the lemon peel at home? What do you do with the peel, Mother? You throw it right down the drain, don't you do that? Well, let me tell you something. If your drain at home had a stomach, it would be the best fed member of your family. <laughs> because right down here in the lemon peel, we got your vitamin A, vitamin B, thiamine, niacin, riboflavin, and your pantothenate. Wow. <laughs> You're going to throw that away, huh, Mother? No, sir. We're going to add this right here, right inside Blendomatic, the Wonder Blender. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn this on now. You can get the sound of it. <laughs> 
Powerful engine down there, man. Powerful engine. <laughs> you know, something else we're all concerned with today is ecology, preservation of the natural resources. So what you want to do, you want to avoid waste, you want to avoid waste packaging. So let's take a tip from nature now and take a good hard look at the egg. Go ahead and take a good hard look at it. You notice how the egg comes pre-packaged all in its own little white container? Compact, isn't it? Well, tell me something. What is inside the egg? Sir, go right ahead. Tell me what is inside the egg. Exactly right. Your age of nine, histidine, three neo nine, and your phalanoline. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, what about the shell here, friends? Is that something you just paint with a lot of fag colors at Easter time? <laughs> no, sir, friends. What the shell here has got are your trace minerals. Calcium, copper, cobalt, selenium, molybdenum, zinc, iron, and manganese. That's all right in here. We're not going to throw that away. Let's add the entire egg right here. <laughs> Exciting, wasn't it? Into Blendomatic. The Wonder Blender. <laughs> You know, friends, just recently, just recently, a peace team of United Nations observers wandered into the Pietro Sioux Valley of northern Romania. But they made an important discovery there, those UN observers, that every man, woman, and child in the entire Pietro Sioux Valley, there was something extraordinary about them, friends. No warts. <laughs> and they checked the church records on that, too. As a matter of fact, they were wart-free, friends, because they drank only certified raw, unpasteurized milk, just the way God and old bossy gave it to us. <laughs> With your lauric, palmitic, and capriotic acids, your gobulin, lactobumin, hypoxanthine, and lactochrome. Boy, what a mouthful of goodness that was, wasn't it? Sure. Well, let me stir this up a little. Look at all that goodness grinding up in there. <laughs> So let's start off with something sweet. I don't mean sweet with sugar, the kind you buy in a store. Of course, something naturally sweet. Of course, the vanilla bean. Let's put one of those in there. A little bit of bog bean, Canadian snake root, some of that in there. The African beet candy, let's put some of that in there. Canadian snake root, a little bit of that in there. The popular buffalo herb, let's pour some of that right in there. <laughs> Japanese knotweed, almost anywhere. Right. Japanese knotweed, a little bit of coriander, and some kelp. Boy, does that look good, doesn't it? Sure. You know, before I turn this on, friends, I'd like to turn you on to something. What I'm concerned about is health. Not only your health and my health, but the health of everybody here in this great land of ours. That's right, I'm talking about the United States of America. And I'm not ashamed to stand up here and tell you that I love it. And I know if you're as patriotic as I am, you'll want one of these blenders in your home tonight. That's why we cut the price on the, they cut the price on this number. It's down now to just $19.95, and that's complete, friends, with a beautiful avocado base, the seven-speed selector switch, and you can count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's fabulous. That's a, Isn't it? Sounds like a real worthwhile bargain. Lou, as where a, can somebody pick up a Wonder Blender like this? As a matter of fact, uh, if they send cash, stamps, or money order to Wonder Blender, P.O. Box 89110, Fernwood, Ohio, 45989. Okay, thank you very Let much. Let me repeat that. Wonder Blender, P.O. Box 8911, Ohio, 45909, but after today. Well, thank you very much, Lou. The public needs watchdogs like you, and I hope you continue in your good work in the crusade against consumer ripoffs. <laughs> we'll be right back after this important. <laughs> I'm sure everyone here in Fernwood is going to agree with me that it's, uh, it's a pretty good feeling to know we have watchdogs like Lou out here taking care of the consumer. Am I right? How about it? Yeah. As the night people of Fernwood know, we have some, some pretty darn nice restaurants here in town. Some good eating there. Yes. There's a brand new one opening up that's going to revolutionize the dining habits of Fernwood. Uh, the name of the restaurant is the Butterfly Deli. Kind of catchy, oh, isn't it? Yeah. They specialize in organic foods, health foods, and vegetarian specialties. That'd be all that mm, health food stuff. Sounds good. I'd like you to meet the young lady behind this idea. She's the owner, manager, and chief chef, it's kind of hard to say, of the Butterfly Deli, Miss Susan Cloud. Well, let's bring it Sit over 
over here. Sure. Why don't you just come over here? Yeah. And I'll sit there. So lovely. Nice to see you. Thanks. Nice of you to come. Thanks. It's like really together of you to have me. Well, thank you very much, dear. Uh, how did you get interested in natural foods? Well, it like came to me, you know. I was hungry and they were there, so like I ate them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got into natural foods uh, shortly after they got into me. Mm -hmm. You see, because I believe in, like, the karma of food. I do not choose to eat anything which, under different circumstances, might possibly choose to eat me. <laughs> are, are you digging it so far? Oh, I'm certainly yeah. digging it, yes. Oh, and so, okay, uh, you... No question. Pardon? No question that I'm digging it. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, great, then no answer. I'd like to dig some more, so. Oh, okay. Well, what I feel is that, well... I guess you can't call it favoritism, but I am, like, into Hmong and Hmong products. Hmong? And Hmong, oh. you know. Are you, like, into Hmong? Not that I know of, no. I, oh. I don't know of. Well, it's like there are some excellent Hmong substitutes on the market for those of you on a Hmong-free diet, and I have, like, a little Hmong surprise for you. You don't? Yeah, you look like you could, like, be Hmongy, you know, so... <laughs> I made you, like, a little string of Hmong, etc. And I, like, expect to see you wearing it every time I see oh, it. Oh, my goodness. You've oh, run an awful lot of trouble here, hasn't you? Yeah, well, I didn't wash the dirt off or anything. So <laughs> this is, uh... Oops. Extra mung. Oh, there's a little bit of mung for you. Yeah. Pop try yeah, That's kind yeah. of a souvenir there. Yeah. I'll yeah. take a piece of that. Oh, my, it's a belt. It's so no, it's like a necklace, but it could be a belt. Who am I to say what its purpose might be? Well, I'll just, uh, slip this on here, huh? So you go, this kind of goes with a shirt, doesn't it? Very nice of you. That's very nice. Comes with its own little case. Yes, it away That's wonderful. Did you bring anything for Jerry? Yes, I sure did. Whoa. Well. I brought you a potato. Well. <laughs> it's, it's kind of small now, but like share your love and maybe it'll grow. Yeah, how would he wear that? Great. Oh. Well, it would make like a real cute belt buckle or perhaps... Um, Just a, like a good luck charm, carry it around until it... Uh... Yeah, you might have a special pocket made for it if you like. The potato yeah. pocket. Yeah. yeah. Though I don't really believe in pockets myself. I see. Are you strictly a vegetarian then? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. So you eat, you eat no meat whatsoever? Right, except for, like, burgers. You look a gas, but the, the human body, like, requires burgers, you see? <laughs> a little-known fact that they don't teach you in American schools, but, like, I've been to India and back, is that... Hey! Is, like, um... <laughs> Burgers are what this country was founded on. And personally, like through my meditation and, and, and not meditation, I have decided that we are like all hooked in to one big cosmic burger. <laughs> personally, haven't you ever really felt like relish? Susan, it's been great talking to you. I wish you all the luck in the world with your new restaurant. Susan, do you ever use a blender in your work? Not to my knowledge. You oh. never used a blender? Well, my golly, after you use one, I'm sure you'll never give up using it. In fact, I have to have one right here. Absolutely. Would you like to have one of these? Oh, that would be, like, cool. Do you have cash? Do you have cash? Yes, I don't believe in pockets, so I just use my natural crevices. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> How much was that? Uh, 19.95. Okay, well, you just... Okay. Oh, take, still warm. take a little something, please. <laughs> This is our gang. Thank you. Happy kind in the orchestra. Ladies and gentlemen, my dad wants to be in show business in the worst possible way. And that's why we have him here tonight on Fernwood Tonight. <laughs> I got him a job here at the station as a security guard, but it just wasn't good enough. It didn't really satisfy him completely. He wants to be under the hot lights and show this we complain. So please, would you give a warm Fernwood tonight welcome to my father, Mr. Garth Gimbel Sr. <laughs> Very 
very much. Hey, thank you very much. This is just my pet, you know. And I've just been fooling around with him, and he, he, he's done so many tricks. I, I don't know whether it's the way I teach him or whether he's just all that smart. I really don't know. But uh, we've had quite a love affair, and, uh, and we have such a rapport. Uh, that we communicate a lot closer, I think, than human beings. So I'm going to show you, and watch how quick he responds. I think that's the main thing. It's just how quick they, and that shows how eager they are to please, if you know what I mean like that. You ready, Angel Baby Boy? Oh, look at you can now wait, Angel. Which way are you gonna look? That way? Now wait, now wait, wait. You sit there, precious. Now, look at I'm so proud of you. He hasn't done anything yet, has he? He's going to do that. Now wait a minute, wait, I'll tell you when. I'll tell you the minute he does something. Now here we go. You ready, Loopy? Loopy, here, baby. Now here, now, Louie, look over there. <laughs> over there. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> sit up for you and watch how high he sits up and he'll sit up longer i've never known a dog to sit up as long as he does and the idea is that it's easy to sit up you have to have, you have, to have a strong back to do it that's the idea and he's got a strong back it'd be good i told you he was good come on <laughs> Wait, wait, he's got it! No. No. I'm sorry, we don't have any more time to wait for Louie to become intelligent. We're out of time tonight. I want to thank my guests. I think you all know who you are. <laughs> and we'll be seeing you probably tomorrow night with any kind of luck. Quicker than you can say, Wonder Blender, Wonder Blender, Wonder Blender, Wonder Blender. Thank you very much. Also appearing on tonight's show, April Tatro as April McTeer, Lou Felder as Lou Moffat, and Susan Elliott as Susan Cloud. Stay tuned for some explosive scenes from Channel 13's world premiere motion picture special, Evening in Byzantium, starring Glenn Ford and Shirley Jones.